Continuing coverage on News 5, a day after Senate candidate Roy Moore was accused of sexual misconduct, we are hearing from both him and his opponent. Moore did a radio interview while Doug Jones campaigned right here in Mobile County tonight. News 5's Alan Carter has the story. Hundreds came to show their support. Rallying for Doug Jones and Pritchard, a candidate entering this race seemingly as a long shot, now with a fighting chance after allegations of sexual misconduct levied against his opponent, Roy Moore. But in talking to the crowd, Thank you for being here. Jones never addressed the elephant in the room. We've been talking about what I call the kitchen table issue. We caught up with him after and asked him about Moore. It's his issue, it's his problem. He needs to address those issues, and the people of Alabama deserve some answers. Well, I'll ask you this then, because the only people are questioning the timing. Did your campaign have anything to do with Absolutely not. Uh, absolutely not. That's, an, that, that's just a, a, another in a continuing uh, uh, pattern of absurd uh, statements that Moore and his campaign have made, not just in the course of this campaign, but in the course of his career. Meanwhile, Moore appeared on Sean Hannity's radio program denying the allegations. This woman has waited over 40 years to bring a complaint. Four weeks out of an election, it's obvious to the casual observer that something's up. Jones says that isn't enough. There are serious allegations that need to be addressed specifically, uh, not just in a general denial and blaming somebody else. A poll conducted last night after the Washington Post report shows the race between Jones and Moore is now in a dead heat at 46% each. Decision Desk HQ conducted the poll of 500 likely voters. And just last month, this same group did a poll that showed Moore with more than a six-point lead.